United Arab Emirates UAE is literally reaching out to the star sports. Earlier this morning, the UAE launched the Arab world's first ever Mars mission from Japan. Now, look at the diplomacy aspects also here. Last year, UAE had sent its first man in space from Kazakhstan with the help of a Russian spacecraft. So look at the diplomacy here. And Major Al-Mansur was the first Emirati to have been into the space last year. Now, this video tutorial has a deep focus on UAE's Mars mission. I am Rajiv Sharma. Well, let me elaborate on the importance of this mission. First, the details. The UAE mission, Mars mission, called Hope mission, in Arabic it is called Al-Amal. It will take seven months to cover the 293 million kilometer journey to Mars. It will be traveling at a speed of 1,21,000 kilometers per hour. Now, This will coincide when the HOPE mission reaches the, the periphery of Mars in February 2021. This will coincide with 50 years of the confederation of UAE when seven Emirates joined up together to form United Arab Emirates. Again, the diplomacy aspect of it. Now, this is an orbital mission. It will not be a landing mission. This will orbit around Mars for one full Martian year. Unlike Earth, where the length of the year is 365 days, Mars, Martian year has 687 days. So which means that for 687 days, the spacecraft will be orbiting Mars, largely to study the weather conditions there, the levels of hydrogen and nitrogen and oxygen and uh, to find out uh, the livable conditions on the red planet and of course they will be transmitting data, images, every week uh, they will be sending six to eight hours of imagery from Mars. This is not the first uh, satellite uh, of UAE. UAE had done that before also in 2009 and 2013. But that was with the help of South Korea. Again, the diplomacy. I'll come to the diplomacy part a little later. That's why I'm again and again I'm flag marking the diplomacy aspect. <laughs> Now, UAE then decided after the two satellite launches, two successful launches with the help of South Koreans, they decided to launch their own agency, space agency, which they did in 2014. And friends, let me tell you here that normally a Mars mission takes 10 to 12, hour, 12 years from for maturity, 
for uh, uh, for taking place for uh, for completion period normally 10 to 12 years but uae has done that in 6 years time flat this is definitely commendable kudos to uae and later this year from uh, next month to december two more mars missions are are going to be launched one by china another by us both are landing missions now the uae mars mission hope mission mission hope has uh, come with us with some cost 200 million dollars but uae being the arabs being uh, business minded people they realize that oil is not forever and they realize that they have to survive so they have to change they have to evolve they have to mutate they have to keep themselves ahead of the times changing times so that's why uh, ua many years ago had successfully transformed itself into the international hub for many things travel hub most airlines criss cross dubai or abu dhabi then it's a business hub so now they are preparing themselves as a major serious space faring power and now let me come with a interesting fact here as i said that arabs being the business minded people they are not doing it without business one of the stated objectives of uae is to colonize mars in 97 years from now that is their mission is to colonize mars by 2117 now this is something really amazing and commendable that they are really having they have really drawn up long term plans now let me come to the diplomacy part which i have been frequently harping on see uae is a is a country which is keeping good relations with all major powers with china with us with russia with india of course and with the muslim world with the arab world barring a barring a few nations of course led by the iran bloc so now the the point is that when you are talking about when you are talking in terms of colonizing the mars the red planet so you have to really back it up with the deep and long financial pockets with deep and long pockets really your financial prowess has to be second to none you have to pump in billions and billions and dollars into this which uae is not only well prepared it has made its mission objective clear it has that it will be colonizing mars so this is just a beginning as far as um, the uae's uh, space faring prowess or the or mars exploration process is uh, concerned this is an orbital mission there will be i'm sure in near future they will be launching a landing mission also and i'm sure that very soon they will be teaming up with india also because india's 
space fearing credentials are second to none so friends i hope particularly those who are appearing for upsc and civil services exams they will really uh, take this video seriously video tutorial seriously like this uh, video and uh, subscribe to my channel rajiv kishana thank you